tight. And we'd be able to move right past that, not tracking any other tech. All right, then it is, Ella. We are forbi 40 seconds. T minus 30 seconds, so let's fucking go. We fucking go! <laughs> Let's go! Oh wow! What the fuck? Fint. Oj, vad fint. 30 seconds into flight. We are feeling the rumble. We are seeing 33 out of 33 Raptor engines ignited. Oh, super heavy booster. What the fuck? Sternship, avionics power and telemetry nominal. Acquisition of signal. Alla motorer kör. Alla motorer kör. Let's go. We get good call outs. Our trajectory Max looking nominal. System Max Q. Nominal, just amazing. To Max see fucking Q. Lit up once again. Oh. Och så till lager mål. Det var coolt det alltså. Så kul att se jävla fort. Max Q that maximum angle. Alltså om Bosen klarar hot staging nu. Jävlar vad nice. Those center right after. Men framförallt om om skeppet klarar hot staging alltså. We'll push Starship off of the booster. Vilket borde vara ganska snart. 20 sekunder. See all but three lights wow. go out in the middle. And then we'll see the engines ignite on ship pushing it away. And that will start carrying the ship into space. Booster will start to do its flip and then move into the boost back burn setting it up for eventual splashdown. Oh my god. Go Mexico. <laughs> yeah, no. Whoa! Hot staging confirmed. Oh! Kolla! Booster! Way back, seeing six engines ignited on ship. Nej, skeppet var det. Det här är boostern. Förstås. Den, den lever! from the floor because these views are just they move and change direction uh in order to change the thrust to Oj, steer the first stage back to earth. Läcker den? Eller nej? Ja. <laughs> wow, these are just incredible views. Here. Ja, nu börjar den falla snabbt alltså. About 30 seconds away. Oh. Uh just under 30 seconds away. From the start of the boost back turn. Uh, excuse me, the landing burn on the booster. You can see the grid fins rotating. Oh, the grid fins are guiding us through the atmosphere back towards our splashdown site. Again, we're going for a hard spl uh, for a splashdown. A soft splashdown. So for landing burn, we're going to expect to see the 13 center engines light. Rapidly bring down the booster's velocity. Wow. And then just the three. Okay in the center for splashdown let's see if that'll work oh my god we're getting a few a few engines come here ah they had a look short as well and acquisition of signal let's see if we can get some other video of that now, uh, this is a test objective today. It is still something that we're attempting to learn. Okay. <laughs> um, and to make it that far to demonstrate the controlled re-entry up to that point is pretty darn good. <sighs> Ship continuing to look at so with it its a... ascent burn. Starships. Okej, okay. så då är nästa grej att se om, om payload dooren kan öppna. No uh, views or no views. We'll see you back here at T plus 40 minutes. As door is opening. 
And there we just heard call it that Pez door is opening. So that's great. <laughs> Don't call that a Pez door. <laughs> oh my god. Don't call that a Pez door. <laughs> so Excuse me. Nice. That test objective is already underway. So come back here. Uh, stick around till T plus. You heard it here. Official. Pest door. Uh, demonstration. Uh, Kastbana. Som ska. So, so, som. What? Det här är från inuti boosten. Eller inuti skeppet. Det är helt absurt, men det där är uh, bränslet. What the fuck? Coolt att de visar detta. Ja, hur ser värmeskällen ut nu? Det såg ut som att de hade tappat några små grejer, men i allmänhet såg den ganska bra ut, i alla fall på den sidan. You can think of a wake kind of like uh, when you see a boat going through the ocean, it sort of leaves oh, a, kolla. a trail behind it. Um, there's some great up, yeah. views from, uh, from Starlink giving us uh, views of Starships onboard yeah, videos. Uh, det det so här är jävla coolt i alla fall. Alltså, om de får feed på återinträdet, då... Då är det inte fan vad jag gör, alltså, det här har varit jävla coolt att se det live, alltså. Yeah, alltså, kolla målen, den här går så jävla fort nu. 30 gånger snabbare än ett flygplan, liksom. Ja, det måste vara... Afrika, vi ser där också, då, va? Alltså vi är på, precis på väg in i återinträde och vi ser att Starship försöker linea upp sig själv med sina vingar för att hålla sig stabil genom återinträdet. Och reentry är sagd att börja plus 49 minuter 5 sekunder. Men det är ju lite så här gradient. Atmosfären börjar ju aldrig och slutar aldrig utan det är bara en lång gradient liksom. De kommer inte landa mjukt, de kommer inte göra den här flippmanövern som vi har sett eh, SN8-15 till eh, 15 göra. Utan de, de kommer försöka göra som en världens högsta matplast, basically. Det, det go, börjar gå in i atmosfären så, och så fortsätter ner. Och så. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Håll den här stabil nu! Alltså det, den pendlar lite för mycket för min life. Men kolla! Plasman! Det stabiliserar sig! What the fuck? Absolut, Kay. And it's important to note with the ascent burn that we did was to get us to orbital velocities even though we were on a nearly orbital trajectory. Det kan vara första gången vi ser live någonting går in i atmosfären. För, för, förutom från kameror på marken då. What the fuck? Ny skärmbag! <laughs> ja! Ja! Exakt, what the fuck! The heat chill tiles doing their work. We talked about it earlier. Up to 2600 degrees. Det är helt sjukt! That those heat chill tiles are dissipating as we are re-entering. Yeah, now this was one of the critical... Så kameran sitter på den övre vingen, den främre vingen. Så därför ser vi ibland att kameran viker sig lite. Det är för att då viker sig vingen snarare. Det är så jävla sjukt! The atmosphere is actually doing us a huge favor here by acting as a braking system for Starship um, as it re-enters the atmosphere. And that's part of the reason why the flaps are so important. We're using the body of Starship and the drag from the atmosphere to slow us down from orbital speed. But you want the vehicle to remain stable. You want those heat shield tiles pointed down. Uh, so they can absorb the heat of the Earth's atmosphere. 
Uh, Aviv. And so that's the purpose that they are serving during the hypersonic phase and then again during the subsonic phase. Absolutely. So like we said, these views are being provided by uh, a couple Starlink terminals that are... are and hey, Kate, and hey, Shiva, we were just hearing on the loops, we are making the call now that we have lost ship 28. So uh, as we were possibly expecting, we lost the data a couple of minutes ago. We haven't heard from the ship uh, up until this point. And so the team has made the call that ship uh, has been lost. So no splashdown today, uh, but again, just it's incredible to see how much further we got this time around. And with that, uh, we got to say a huge congratulations to our teammates and everyone who's supported the Starship program. There's been flames and reds along yeah. the way, but third time's the charm, and we made it to space. But we also a big thanks to all of our future customers for your support. And we want to give a big thanks to the people of Cameron County, Texas, for their support, as well as the Coast Guard and the Federal Aviation Administration. Be sure to follow the SpaceX account on X 